Eleven K, go ahead. Eleven K, ambulance shooting. Meet the officer at the interstate bus station at Beverly and Union. Go to. Hey, we were there once before. What's the situation? Some stick-up boys lost their heads and a girl got shot. We have to move fast, sir. There are still people inside. Oh, crap. Cover. Just run up and shoot the guy in the frickin' head. Or, well, the torso, because the auto lock always goes for the torso. Good news is that's all the street crimes for now. So let's just fast travel now. Can you drive to this one? Only two more street crimes left. job's done properly. You think it was deliberate? Nah, that's real pain in your face. They would have moved out the things they care about if this was insurance. There's no mileage in this. Hello, Mike. Hey, Hirsch. Cap this one. Yeah, Mike Brannigan, Cole Phelps. It's okay, Brannigan. His name may be dog shit, but there's none in his hand. No offense, Phelps. None taken. Do you have anything? The fire started late last night. Stepan's family at Catalina Island. Won some kind of competition. Looks like the only thing they ever won in their lives. When they come home with us. I'd say they were pretty lucky, really. They don't have any insurance. Everything they own, including the house, is not a pile of rubble. Where are they sleeping? In the car. It's lucky the whole block didn't burn down. Word is they're bulldozing this whole neighborhood to build new homes for GIs. That's the man in the house. In the ruins. Terry Lady's his wife. I'll take a look around. Come on, Phelps. Hmm. Well, this certainly does appear to be suspicious. Really? Now people are gonna start bad mouthing me? Well, let's look around, see what we can find. This is over here. Oh, that's just a trick of the shadow. Oh, damn. Oh, what was that? I want to investigate whatever it is. What is it? Oh. It's a pan. This is a What? Do we even know what we're looking for, Cole? Do we? You know, for a house, this is actually pretty damn small. Granted, I live in something of a big house, so maybe I don't actually know what I'm talking about, but... Wait, what was that? Oh, here we go. 
recently serviced. Could be something to go on. Hmm. Interesting. Apparently that was all worth looking for here. Isn't that the cop who caught the guy that was pretending to be dead? There was a guy pretending to be dead? Who the hell is that? Mr. Stevens? Cole Phelps and Herschel Biggs, LAPD. I know it's a difficult time, but could we have a word? Go on, Stephens. You were out of town. We won a prize. We had a wonderful time. Came home to this. Do you still have the tickets? Sure. It's a formality, but we'll need to speak to the issuing agent. All right. Well, let's see what we can find out. Can you tell me any more about the prize that you won, Mr. Stephens? A weekend at Catalina Island. My uh, wife got this flyer in the mail from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Okay, it didn't seem like he was lying at all there, so... Did you enter any kind of competition? Well, my wife filled in a flyer. Lady just rung up and told us we won. It's the first time I ever won anything. All right. What about this redevelopment project thing? The redevelopment fund. Did they offer to buy you out? They're building new houses. They showed their money, and most of the neighborhood just packed up and walked away. But I never bargained with them. You're kind of glancing aside when you say that, though. Everyone else is selling, but you're the holdout, aren't you? Yeah, I was the last. I thought I could hold out for a better price. Now my house is the center lot. So now you have to take the price regardless. Looks like it. I've got no choice. I have to put a roof over my family. That's all we need for the moment, Mr. Stephens. All right. Once with him. You've seen the papers. I guess he's thinking about his own family. I'd say he's searching for some kind of atonement right now. All right. Let's look for a game's well then. In the midst our, of our atonement. Why does the game's well have to be so freaking far up the road? I mean, I know it's not logical to have one just like immediately next to where. The last crime scene is, but still, at least put him somewhere close enough. That case with the lady cut up like the diet. Cole Phelps, batch twelve forty-seven. How could I help, detective? I need information on the suburban redevelopment fund. Yes, detective. Just checking. The fund is a semi-government agency it is established to speed up the building of GI homes. It has private investors as well as a government endowment. Huh. You have an address for them. There is one listed here, corner of Beverly and Mariposa. Thank you. All right. Head back to the car then. At least the operator still sounds friendly with us. Let's go to the Gulliver Travel Agency next. Actually, why am I driving? You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Yeah, Biggs should be the one driving. Oh, did I bypass the conversation we were supposed to have in the car by what I did there? Damn. Oh, well, the conversations are interesting, but not really too important. Well, that's an interesting window display. Won't lie. I like the sign, though, with the propeller spinning like that. 
It's nice. I like it. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. John Cunningham, can I help you, gentlemen? What can you tell us about the travel tickets that you issued to the Stephens family? Stephens. Uh, let's see, family of five, I think. Uh, trip by flying boat to Catalina Island. Tickets were issued last week and redeemed this weekend. All right, let's just double check that. Stephens up here. Here they are. Stephens. Wait, what's this here? The Sawyer family. Rosewood Avenue. Huh. So the Sawyer family was also given a winning ticket, were they? Strange. Well, let's start asking this guy about stuff. Tell us about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. There's not much to tell. They run a promotion. Our promotions mailing list covers half of L.A. Huh. Maintain eye contact the whole time. I'm willing to say he's telling the truth. So they are not a government agency? <laughs> I don't believe so. Government organizations don't usually get involved in promotions. Interesting. Well, what about the contents itself? I'm told the tickets were a prize. Yes, they were. You do a lot of these prizes. Look, there are hundreds of these promotions running at any one time. If you're the lucky guy, you get your name pulled out of a hat. You're kind of avoiding the question, and you sound a little bit nervous. I have some doubt here. While the Stephens family was at Catalina Island, their house burnt down. You consider them lucky. Christ. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me who offered the prize they won? Sure. Look, there's supposed to be some sort of supervised draw with hundreds of tickets. But the reality is the Suburban Redevelopment Fund calls me every couple of weeks and tells me exactly who has won. Thanks for your help. Uh, no problem. Wish I could do something for that family. You could put round the hat. A few bucks would really help you now. I suppose so. Good. I'll put you down for 50. I could tell you were Samaritan the minute I walked in the 50? door. 50? Are you? Good man, Cunningham. You're all right. Yeah, I'm great. Poorer, but great. Ha! Nice one, guys. I approve. Uh, but right now... You know the way. You can drive. We need to do, go Bye. check into this... Where are we at it? need to go check the Suburban Redevelopment Fund while we're at it. So, let's go. Let me guess. You want to check out the Suburban address. Great partners must think alike. This is supposed to be the registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an Elysian housing development, Mac. So Elysian is an investor in the Redevelopment Fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? I've got work to do. Sure, buddy. Thanks for your help. Elysian are investors in the Suburban Redevelopment. So what? If you think I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe without evidence, you're out of your mind. Mm. Well... We can step inside here for a second and look for something. It's not really necessary, but we can find it. So Elysian Fields builds the houses while the Suburban Redevelopment Fund foots the bill. Huh. Mr. Leland Monroe. Interesting. Well, at the moment it has nothing to do with our current investigation, so let's just... Can you drive to this one? To the next location, which is actually wait. Have there been any other house fires? This is arson. You get an average of two a night. Does that answer your question? All right. I guess we're going to the Sawyer house next. I just had to make sure that was actually my destination. I'm not like going somewhere else completely. Hi, Albert. 
We've got this case. Hey, Biggs. We? You have a partner? What gives? This is Cole Phelps. You may have read about it. Oh, now I get it. Hello, Phelps. Welcome to the netherworld of ours. Family of four found dead in their beds. Peter explosion. Yeah, another one. Looks that way. Insta heat model 70. Before you get excited, we get a couple of water heaters a month go back. Take a look around the yard and see what you can find. All right. Let's look around then. I don't know why I jumped just then, but. Val. You gonna stick it out, Cole? I'm gonna try, Mal. What have you got? Family by the name of Sawyer. Mother, father, and two kids. All in bed from the looks of it. Well, I'd say carbon monoxide poisoning. The burns are superficial. Time of death. I'd say about midnight. Anything more exact will take some time to determine. Lynch tells me this has something to do with a faulty water heater. Could be. There's been a spate of problems with a particular brand. I've got another angle in mind. You care to elucidate, Detective? This is a murder and not an accident. Sharing information has helped us solve quite a few cases together. I need something concrete now before the department gets wind of it. I'm an arson for a reason. I feel sorry for your wife and kids, Phelps, not for you. But you're a good case, man. One of the best I've ever met. I'll help in any way I can. Thanks, Mal. I'd say that's firm but fair. Well, it's obvious Mal still has some issues with us, but oh well. Let's see what we can find around here. I doubt we'll find anything particularly useful inside the house. That is a football. Not interesting in the slightest. Something around here. I think I'm wrong though. No, wait, it was back here. No, maybe not. Gosh darn it. Oh, here we go. Oh, the regulator valve. Hey, Biggs, is this significant? Regulator valve. Good find. Detective, this is the next door neighbor. Detective Phelps, can you help? They were supposed to be going away. They won a trip somewhere. But little Henry got sick, so they had to cancel. What are the chances? Do you know who ran the competition? Gulliver's Travel, up on Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks. You've been a big help. Across the street. I've seen him before. He likes fire. Aha, firebug. Chase after the still catch up. Stop! LAPD! Where's your manners? We got an idea on you, firebug. Stop right there! Faster, faster, faster. Ah, uh, you got in the way, Bush. Bush, how dare you? What's your name? Herbert Chapman. So you like fires? Some. Watching them or setting them? I don't want any trouble. Turn out your pockets. You're a naughty boy, aren't you, Herbert? I keep myself to myself. So, for those who don't know what this is, this is a cigarette in a matchbook. And a cigarette will burn down over time. This is basically what you would call a time bomb in the terms of a fire starter. 
Cigarette in a matchbox gives you a five or six minute delay. You want more time, you use a mosquito collar. Don't you, Herbert? You like this fire, Herbert? Hell no. I heard it over the fire radio. Sounded sweet. When you finish following your leads, come and see me at the fire station. I have a theory about this. Will do, Lynch. Take this guy in. We might want him for questioning later. You got it, Detective. Why have you got such a hard on for this case? If it is murder, it's almost impossible to prove. Fire doesn't leave much evidence. There's no percentage in this. I think it's more than one case. Their house fire is cold. Accidents, heater fires, gas explosions. There's got to be a reason. The reason is you want to be a star again. Forget it. Give it up. You'll feel better. There's something to this. I know it. What are you talking about? Arson is insurance. It's always been insurance. We still investigate the cases, Biggs. The people in this house are dead. Go soak your head, Phelps. This hero business is a full-time obsession with you. I'm gonna make this case. I'm gonna rub the parker's nose in it. Help me, or stay out of my way. You got it? Lynch says we All should right. visit him at Fire Station 32. Who exactly is this guy, Lynch? Lynch is a legend. You should feel privileged. He doesn't let many people into the inner sanctum. Keep your mouth shut and you'll learn something right. about fires. I might as well drive there because I'm already behind the wheel. So I Little Miss Drury of Louisville, Kentucky, and her six foot eight escort see the top. At Radio City, thousands watch the ceremony where they see 49 war hero homing pigeons, which symbolize the 48 states and the District of Columbia taking part in the drive. The keys to the city from Mayor O'Dwyer go to Nancy. Give to the March of Time. KTI is a member of the American Century Broadcasting Network. I'm sorry, I don't have much to say right now. I'm just having fun driving at high speeds. Hooray! Perfect parking. came as soon as we could. Will you look at this clown? Lynch. Biggs? You two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? Yep. Why? I had a look around the place while I was out there. Do you believe the fire? I deal in facts, Phelps. Evidence of an explosion. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Come and take a look at Is the heater from the Sawyer fire out? Yes, it is. Huh. Mm -hmm. Looks like it was recently serviced. I have a theory, and it's a theory only. I don't have enough evidence to prove... Al, if you say it's so, we're listening. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. You have a regulator valve and the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. Now, the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. Well, that said, I think this goes here. I don't remember the exact solution, but well, clearly, it's you have the regulator, you have the gas expanding in the room, and then you have the raw gas. So let's turn it on. Nope, got it in the wrong order. Phelps, 
you need to get the arrangement right before I'm sorry, we jeez. The, the puzzle results. isn't quite obvious right away. No, I didn't want to grab that part. Stop it. Alright, so the balloon has to be over here. The gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's gonna ignite. I'm trying to think that they do actually give you hints, so if I put the Good, your regulator's in position. Yeah, they give you hints if you if you uh, are putting it all together correctly. Okay, I'll write your pilot and turn the gas. You pull the lever on the left. And... So that's how it's being done. Maybe. There could be a fault with these valves. I've adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take it to Instaheat and see what they say. Their headquarters is on North Harvard Boulevard, number 262. Thanks, Albert. You're welcome, Biggs. See you at the next show. I can't say I fully understand the experiment, but obviously, um, if something is set up with the regulator, it can lead to a problem where gas can seep into the room and cause an explosion. Show? The next fire. No. You can drive. So where do you want to go? I want to go here. I hope we start the conversation over again, because that's going to suck if I missed it by accident. You know this Chapman character? Guy's a freak. Loves fires. He's the kind of guy that we'd like for a lot of things, but we don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him with. Let's go inside, see what we can find out. My door. LAPD detectives, ma'am. We need to speak to someone in charge. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Rasick. You should find him in his office. All right. Where was this? What the? Oh. I think he's a bit of a gangster. New and improved model. They'll be selling these like hotcakes. Huh. You sure that's not that crazy right. stuff that almost ran me over? Uh, no. Don't do that again. It's not me at all, sir. Hey, look, he's got an open window. How dare you? Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. What can you tell us about this? Pressure regulator from a Model 70. Uh, let me take a look. We have a problem. This has been tampered with. What? You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. It's been reversed. It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. Strange. Well, not strange. In fact, that's ingenious. One would never think to check for the regulator. Well, not a common civilian. So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair? I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. You don't think there is, but I have a feeling you do. You're telling me that you've never had any problems with this heater? Look, we've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still being installed? It's the demand. None of us could keep up with the amount of housing going up. At the budget end, we're still using some of the old stock. We are installing 100 heaters a week. They're not all faulty. They're not all safe, either. Well, that's about the service history, then. Are these diaphragms prone to failure? 
they uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years and then it perishes. So the guy's names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. Sure, of course they are. I don't believe you're telling me the full truth here. I think you're lying, Rasik. I think some of your men aren't fully licensed. You're desperate to cover your sales. And how are you going to prove that, Detective? Name me one of my guys who would have overlooked a fault like this. Well, here you can either mention the heater service by Ryan or the one by Varley. So, let's just go with Varley. What about Reginald Varley? You know about Varley. He's on the run for a divorce interstate. It's not so bad. You in the habit of hiring criminals, Rasik? I need guys, Detective. This boom is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installers. Okay, I'll get it for you. There, around a dozen of them. Housing business is going crazy at the moment. Ooh, I've got This is a long shot. We are not going to rouse that whole list. We don't need to. I want to run it by R&I. Cross-reference for arsonists. See if any of these guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. Okay. See, where is his phone? It is right here. Uh, generally speaking, you aren't learning much. 